and welcome to seispinguinos.com Instrumentopedia, a place where we look at different instruments from around the world. And what I have here is an adungu, a bowed harp from Northwest Africa. Now, it's called a bowed harp because it originates from the hunting bow. When hunters were bored, they would start flicking the string of their bow. And that way they could make simple tunes or rhythms. More creative hunters started adding on extra strings and could play more complex music. Bad for the hunting, great for the music. So anyway, the Adungu is generally related to the Anur people from northwest Uganda, but variations of the Bodha are found all over the African continent. It's a very simple instrument. It's a bit of hollowed out wood here. There's a bowed bit of wood that goes down the middle and then a bit of leather is stretched over the top of it and this serves as a soundboard. It has a little sound hold in there. Um, they generally have between seven and 22 strings. Um, there's a lot of variation in that. And the tuning um, is generally Western tuning. The British Empire has a lot to answer for, not just politically, but also for the loss of a lot of traditions. I don't know how they would have tuned this instrument 200 years ago, but now it generally follows a standard Western tuning. So this is tuned D, G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp. Okay? And that's what it sounds like. The adungu is generally used in, they play together in quartets or quintets, and it's generally used to accompany singing. Now, I'm not going to try and sing. I don't really know how to play this instrument, but I'll give you a little idea of what it sounds like. So the adungu, the Ugandan bowed harp. <laughs> 